Hello everybody and welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 24-7 season mode. And last time here we uh, retained our title at SummerSlam. And what I thought I was going to lose there a couple times. So uh, let's get right back into this by checking out the new magazine. What is this? The Raw Superstar. Um, okay. Well, I'm not gonna read this, but I'll let you guys read it if you want. Alright, let's go over to the phone. Let's see what messages we have. Each okay, your destiny is in your hands. It's a choice. I'm tempted to let you get wrapped up in this thing with Stephanie. But I don't want you saying that was the reason I beat you for the championship at Unforgiven. Wait, what? I don't understand what's going on here. Hold up, can I? I'm tempted to let you get wrapped up in this thing with Stephanie. But I don't want you saying that was the reason I beat you for the championship at Unforgiven. Should I have read the uh, email? Not the email, the uh, magazine. Do they expect you to read it? Because I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Uh, take his advice to refuse Stephanie or refuse Stephanie. I don't know. Um. I'm gonna go stick with Stephanie. I don't know why. I'm gonna go read that magazine now. I hope I didn't make a bad decision. All right. Stephanie McMahon, daughter of the chairman, Vince the Candyman plan, gave us her opinions on Raw and Jimmy Superstar. There's a lot of talent on this brand, says so Stephanie. Sean Michaels. Piling up wins, piling up wins. The billionaire princess. I've just loved watching him compete against ECW, but I'm a little jealous too. I wouldn't mind if he was in my corner. Well, then I'm glad I stuck with her. I'm glad I didn't make it bad decision and even though she's probably gonna turn on me I can see it coming I, can, I she's gonna turn on me I already can sense it coming from a mile away and we're oh we do have a man triple threat Sabu what the hell are you doing here what is Sabu doing what is Sabu doing on Raw Maybe it's because Stephanie liked me when I faced in CW, so she's having all the time. Could be. So, I still find that a little odd. Ravishing. Vengeance is over, and Unforgiven is just one month away. This is Jim Ross, here with Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And King, it sounds like the champions got a not so oh, secret Carly, no. admirer. Come on, JR. Why talk He's about gossip face. when the People champs got a title defense cool. in three weeks? Oh, who's that? You don't who's think that? it's that worth mentioning that Stephanie McMahon alluded oh, to not. having a crush on him? Maybe if I was a seventh grade girl, I would. Grow up for crying out loud. Didn't hear what they were talking about. I was too busy uh, talking about Chad Gaspard and Carlito. Hmm. That whole backstage crew isn't in WWE anymore. I mean, Umaga, well... Fortunately, he passed, but the whole everyone else is no longer with the WWE. Hell, half, half the roster in this game isn't with WWE anymore. That's not even a lie. Word has it that he's warned the champion against getting involved with the McMahon family. All right, well, I guess that you makes sense. That Shawn he knows from personal experience how they can make a superstar's life a living hell. Ah, they see me walk. They hear me 
I'm done with singing now. No, I, I messed up, so I'm done. At least for this episode. Save you guys, uh... What the? What's an ECW superstar? That's what I was wondering! Coming, coming down to the ring. I bet my crown that this is Mr. McMahon's doing, JR. He doesn't want McMahon's the champ doing. anywhere near his little girl. And I don't blame him. I thought it was Stephanie and McMahon's doing. She said... I think I know what they're doing, but look at that Mr. President design. That'd be the worst day. Worst day. The bitch is running for president. Both of them, they probably, they probably changed the WWE range like freaking two. So it would look good even better for him. I mean, that would just... No. <laughs> you think you know The champion that. has not distanced himself from Stephanie McMahon as her daddy requested. And now, instead of a single man, well, this that title. is a non-title triple threat match. Okay, I gotta spin my title. Have plenty of reasons to go after him first. This is gonna be bad. I just want a triple threat at the pay-per-view. Oh, it's The Undertaker. You know what, player? You're going to go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. It's the Teddy Long Surprise. You're going to go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Oh, look at Sabu. Look at that. No, Sabu, where the hell are you... He, Sabu doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just shaking his head like, no, 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 no. Come here. You slap him silly, boy. This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. How has it gone beyond just being a match? I think these genuinely hate each other. Me. There's no love lost between these. No, you can't win yet. In a my pin. My pin. My pin. My pin, Sab. A reversal. Can he capitalize Oh, me and Sabu are just double teaming. There. But Sabu, our you gotta respect the little, commitment uh, and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No oh, question geez. about it, King. It's over. Every superstar Bam, on Bulldog has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I oh, know. Man. It really is like being strong married to oh, not no. work so well. This is terrible. Not. Sabu, I just said strong this kind of don't work so well. Well, all and I can say is someone's been eating their vitamins and saying their prayers. Harder to hit than a strong grapple early on. See, that's my third time going for it. Missed again. Let's see, I bet you I'm gonna miss it again. Yes. I think it's pretty obvious which right. way this one's gonna go, Jr. Yeah. This gets so, from that perspective, not so smart. this is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your yeah, perspective, Jr. Oh, no, but I'd have to get my though. head out of my no, rear end first. It. It. And reverse. Lord knows yeah, it's been up there for buddy. so long. Oh boy. I don't know why. The adrenaline is pumping. Yeah, I think this could be the beginning of the end. I don't think he's climbing up there for the view. I think this crowd has decided to exercise the right. Edge of whatever, an edge of something or an edge of something or. What does he think he's doing? He oh, just oh, oh I took out the ref. Man, I think we're about to that wasn't even intentional. Out, Will we see someone take advantage? Oh, you'll see I'd me take advantage. Right. They didn't, Jr. This is a great opportunity. Like Did I you said, see you'll that? see me take advantage. That's gonna leave a mark. I think <laughs> that's the whole idea, King. I'm not afraid to take advantage when the ref's down. I don't understand how these so fans can do right it, JR. They've got no respect for everything he's done for them. Oh, you're full of it, King. Oh, these full. fans don't give a damn about Probably it. Probably could have beat them a little bit more with that. Edge uh, doesn't give a damn about them either. How can you say that, JR? Edge is one of the most excited. He's all fired up oh, now. Suplex. King. And I'd hate to be on the receiving end. Forward. I don't think got a hope of hurting him now. The ropes. Probably like it looks like it's, it feels, I should say, like these I superstars are going to put each other through but. this capacity crowd. Oh it's soft. And here's the pin. Oh. One. Oh. 
dead. Look at him feeding off the energy from this capacity crowd. He's unstoppable. Oh, no. You can't oh, ever count no, on Seth these fans, Seth. JR. They're Seth fickle, who? and they'll abandon you in a hurry. Oh, sure. Now that. the fans start to cheer you know for him. You're not going to hit it. Now that he's in the driver's seat. An edge of whatever. An edge of whatever. All man. And now I'm paying off. Edge of whatever. Sounds like this crowd's got something oh, on their minds, the Kings. This oh, could be a pinfall. But I still hit the edge of whatever, so it don't matter. I don't think these superstars have any intention of taking it easy on each other whatever. That's not what they signed up for, Kings. And quite frankly, I think these fans would be disappointed if they didn't go all out. Well, that's easy for the fans to say. They've never set foot inside that ring. Foot no, inside but that they ring. spend their hard-earned dollars to watch what goes on. Uh oh, come on! You gotta stop this guy before he really gets going. I don't think that's Super gonna happen. Super table. He's built up too much momentum to be stopped now. He's putting through this other table as well. This is a come risky here, Sean, move. Boy. It could prove to be disastrous. He's obviously not feeling too threatened, Jr. Then maybe he's not smart, and these fans Someone love here. confidence here, in their Sabu. superstar. No, Sabu, and going? that's just what they're seeing from him here tonight. Well, he can over, do this boy. until the cows come I'm home, but that's not going to win him the match. I think the, the quickest way to lose a match is to underestimate your opponent. I don't think he's underestimating anyone, King. I think he's making it clear it. that he refuses to be it. intimidated. All right, can you get him up on the side of him? Look at the confidence radiating off this superstar. There we go. All I see is an overconfident superstar who's throwing away the match by not following up. Shut Look up. at this. Look okay. at this. You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right, right here. The table. Yeah? Well, somebody yeah. better put out that fire, or this one's not going to end well. This has got to be like a five-star match. Oh! Look at Shawn Michaels. The future oh, Hall of Famer out Jim Ross. Ross. Oh no! I don't like the looks of this. Oh, okay. He's got the fans behind him, King, King Ross, and, and his opponent there, had better I'm watch out. Commentating because I'm like Booker T. I always have to have Booker T on my speaker <gasps> here, so that we look at that. Booker T's He's busted right. wide open. This is oh, no, great. Now he has a finish. I don't know what's so great open. about watching a human <gasps> being brutalized like this. Come on, Jr. You know oh, this isn't ballet. Stairs make his heart even worse. He's completely in control of his opponent, and he's looking to dish out some serious punishment, JR. Well, that right there should do it. Driving the Get head in repeatedly someone. into those steel rings. To this is great, JR. He's really letting his opponent have it. I guess he is. But I'd like to see a little is. less sizzle and a little more steak, personally. I want to hit someone with a spear. Sabu, come here. Sabu is one of the most dangerous human beings on the planet. And he's put himself okay. through hell representing ECW. And if you ask there me, we go. Sabu's the, floor. the epitome of ECW. Oh, Sabu. come on down. How about a little more wrestling and a little less posture? Sabu, come here. It's called adding insult to injury, JR. On, and I Good think it's ring. great. He's going to regret not following up here Sabu. once he loses this match. Come on, boy. Come on, JR. Come on. This isn't something you do when you're worried right, about Sabu the outcome the of the match. Ring. He knows he's got it in the bag. Here, here it comes, go. JR. Spear. He's in position. Spear. Oh, Spear. 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 That's a tooth chip. Hey, just shook him in half. Fuck oh, And then. Did you ever think you'd be then watching these out. superstars compete then against I each other here tonight, JR? Oh my sure gosh, boy. look at all that blood! Then you pin that move the mark. And there's the cover! One, One two, two, three! three. That's not a five-star match. I don't know what well, it is. We broke from both the looks tables. Of things, I, not hard to tell. I busted them both open. We fought on the outside. I gave them at least... I think there was at least three... There was at least four finishes, I'm gonna have to say. Yeah, that had to be five star. It's a good match. There goes one very unhappy. Not now. Oh. Who can blame him for being impatient? He, he wants his championship match right now. Well, He's like what we magical, just saw, like, he fast might well have earned it. Moves. That's what I say. I wish I had so that. That'd be pretty cool. Let's make it official right now. I think a match of that magnitude needs to, needs take, to take place on a much bigger stage, King. Unforgiven. It needs to happen at Unforgiven. And I think you're just trying to cover for our cowardly, opportunistic champion, JR. What? See, I don't understand.
the way they did the goddamn commentary in this. The cutscene commentary. He does not like me. But in the game, like the actual gameplay commentary, he's all over Edge. Have some continuity, WWE. Smackdown. Oh, wait, come on. Medical staff. Oh, no. That's not good. But we're going to wait to check those messages out until next time. Here on SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 24-7 Season Mode. And I don't know how the hell that wasn't a five-star match. You know, actually, what we're going to do before we leave, we're going to go see what rating they gave my match. That's it. A three, not even a four. What do you need to do to get a five-star rating? Do you need to like, hit like 20 finishers? Do you need to... Like literally, I got the same rating as Chad vs. Kali. Yeah. Okay, and John Cena vs. Carlito. I got the same rating as those matches. I just want to check as well. I got a four star rating here. I didn't even have the best match on the card. Are you kidding me? Being a last man standing sometimes are best. Alright, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. When we come back, we're going to check those three messages that we have, see what's going on there, see what's going on with my injury. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you here next time on SmackDown vs. Hell yeah.